Kia ora. Today I want to share with you a vision of the fish passage remediation future. Whether you're passionate about ecology from a conservation or cultural perspective, or managing assets needing to comply with regulations, the door is now wide open for region or watershed-wide remediation projects. There is now a range of durable, low-cost and low-risk tools that make the effective mass remediation of small to medium structures a reality. I will show you some of these tools in a minute, but first, we need to think about how we are going to manage a remediation project that might include hundreds or perhaps thousands of sites. The cost and effort required for extensive habitat assessments in order to prioritise fixes on a case-by-case -case basis is no longer necessary. We will walk through the data collection and management process, then we will look at some of the examples of remediation techniques at the end. The process works like this. Desktop survey to identify potential structures. We often start with a desktop exercise, but this is optional. It typically uses GIS layers with existing information such as roads, waterways and property boundaries to pinpoint likely crossing points where there might be structures. Next, we head out to the target sites and assess what we find by collecting measurable attributes on a field app. The data gets uploaded and processed by clever algorithms to tell us what we need to know. Each site is given a current status and that determines what happens next. Statuses include requires further investigation. This status is used, for example, if access is difficult and not enough information has been collected, so the site might need to be revisited. All structures can then have ongoing monitoring to make sure they are still fish friendly and any fish passes fitted are still okay. Or, not currently a barrier. If there is a structure but it is not a fish barrier, then it is monitored over time to ensure it remains fish friendly. Or, needs maintenance. If the structure needs urgent repair, then the asset owner is notified. Or, Fish Barrier. If the structure is sound but is a barrier to fish, then another algorithm suggests a fix along with the materials required and an estimated cost. Once approved, a work package is put together, usually consisting of multiple barriers that can be remediated as a manageable project. Crews head out and fix 5 to 10 structures per day. Client pre-approval of fixes is an optional step. Reporting. Managers and funders may require detailed reports to see progress or where their money has been spent. Outputs from the process data include graphs and maps. So what are the typical tools that enable mass remediation projects? Baffles floating ramps and muscle rope are some examples of the simple yet durable remediations that have been developed for perch structures, low flows and or velocity barriers. So, as already now happening in parts of New Zealand, it is absolutely possible to save both millions of dollars and reconnect significant stretches of waterways using effective interventions and innovative data management tools.